guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not wearing any makeup for my introduction, unless you're new to my channel, in which case you probably don't care. Well, seeing as you're asking, the reason that I'm not wearing any makeup is that today I just wanted to do something a little bit different from my usual videos. I'm sure you're aware that in the beauty community people are constantly recreating other people's looks, and we've seen it loads on Instagram with the clouds trend, the uh, Instagram trend that was going on for a while. It happens all the time. I've done some recreations before. I will link them down below if you're interested. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be recreating a look that I found on Instagram so I don't have a YouTube tutorial to follow so it makes it that extra little bit more challenging. And the look that I've chosen was on the P. Louise Makeup Academy page. I will insert a screenshot here. The added difficulty with this look is that it's actually a video that she's posted, so there's no still of the look, but I do also have an advantage. She's posted another short video of the look that kind of shows it in progress, so I think that's going to be really, really helpful. So what I'm going to do is zoom you guys in so that you can watch me struggling to try and recreate this look as best as I can. But before we get into it, please do remember that if you enjoy this video, do give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my next videos. And if you want to see how I get on trying to recreate this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so with all of the P. Louise Academy looks, they always seem to do the eyes first before anything else. Um, so we're gonna start by priming the eyes with the P. Louise base, of course. Um, so I'm packing that on with a blank canvas cosmetic F17 brush. And gonna carve the brows out as well. There we go, it's nice and blended in now, nice and smooth. I'm ready to go on with colour. I feel like this is really accentuating my under eye bags right now. It's not, it's not, it's not a good look. No one looks good like this, it's just not a thing. Um, right, okay, so she's got this, um, like, purple to peach gradient with, like, pink in the middle. I think the best palette to do this is just going to be the Morphe 35B. Of course, it's full of bright colours. The first colour I'm going to go with is the darkest pink. Oh, wait, no, before I do anything, tape. So it looks like the shape goes quite high up into the front of the crease, so I'm going to try and reproduce that shape. I'm just taking the pink shadow just on a little fluffy brush. Okay, that seems kind of close enough, so the next colour I'm going to take is a peachy orange tone to blend that out. I feel like mine is quite a bit brighter than hers at this point. I'm just gonna take uh, the lighter peachy colour in the Morphe 35B and try to blend that out. Yeah, I can't see that she's using anything kind of further up on the brow bone, but I feel like it needs just a bit more blending out and I'm scared I'm gonna take it higher if I keep going into the peachy colour. So I'm gonna go with the lightest beige from the palette. It's a little peachy on the front, but I've kind of lost it back here. Should I be adding a bit more back in? I really don't think I should be at this point. I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink as well. Right, so after the pink, it looks like she's used like a dark purple to deepen that. So I think a good one uh, is just going to be the darkest purple from the Morphe 35B. So that's just going to be lower down in the crease back into the brush I use with the pink to blend that out. Yeah, I just want it to have a bit more intensity because it does look a bit darker and a bit cooler. Like mine's still quite warm, I feel, despite the purple. Um, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the dark blue from the Morphe 35B to see if I can just push it more in the direction that hers is in. So I'm going all the way through my crease, but I'm focusing it more on the outer corner. So I'm gonna quickly do the other eye, and then we'll get to cutting the crease. Okay, now we've got our gradient, and I'm really pleased with it. It's like a really nice sort of sunset effect. Um, we're gonna cut the crease. It's a pretty standard cut crease shape, but it doesn't go all the way. So it looks as though it's curving up to do the full shape, but it just kind of stops. So I've never tried that cut crease shape. So we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna go back into the PW space. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with very short strokes and again, just pat that product in. Okay, so the shape comes back down and then goes back. What I'm now going to do is go back into the dark purple and just blend out the edges. 
feel like it's ruining the gradient up here. And then in with the blue. Right, okay, it looks to me like she's got some peach on the inside and then there is some pink going into the gradient. So I'm gonna go back into that light peachy color that we used and I'm just gonna take it on a flat brush. I didn't realize that color was shimmery. I'm gonna mix it in with the more orangey shade because it's just not quite strong enough on its own. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm taking this shade all the way in My cut crease isn't very precise anymore. I'm just gonna quickly add a little bit of the pink again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back into the purple and just add a little bit more over here. And then I'm jumping into a clean pencil brush and blending it out into the pale orange. Right, I think I'm gonna stop with the blending here and move on to liner. And as always, I'm gonna be using the Inglot AMC eyeliner in the shade black. And finally for the top lid, I'm gonna go in with glitter. So it looks like they've got it just going around the top of the cut crease up here. So I've picked up two and they are by Muobo and they're really pretty and iridescent. So I'm gonna mix them in together and I'm gonna use the NYX glitter glue to apply them to my eyelid. Uh, I'm gonna quickly do up the other eye and then I'm gonna apply my lashes, which are the Kiss Lash Couture in the style Gondja and then we'll be back to do the face. Lashes are on, tapers off, so it's time to move on to the skin. And the P. Louise models are known for always having you know, quite heavy coverage foundations. It does sometimes look borderline a bit cakey, but if you like the cake, there's nothing wrong with it. What I'm gonna start by doing is just priming my skin and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer. For some really full coverage, I'm gonna mix in two foundations. The first one is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I've got it in the shade Alabaster and that's a little bit too light for me and it's also just a bit too matte. The second one is the Dermacol Makeup Cover. I don't have the shade number here, but it's the lightest one, which I think is 108. And with both of these, a little bit goes a long way. This is looking really pale. But actually, when I bring it down into my neck, that's pretty seamless. On camera, I just think it looks like I'm a member of KISS right now. I feel ridiculous, I actually feel ridiculous. <sighs> so yeah, the P. Louise models, they're quite a bit, um, quite a bit more tanned than I am, so. So if you can see that I wanted to go in with the Too Faced Born this way, but I just think it's gonna come out too dark. Um, so instead I'm gonna just go straight into the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and the shade is called Highlighter, and it's just a straight up white. Just keep telling myself over and over again in my head, it's fine, we can bring this back. I really hope it looks better on, on the computer than it looks in the viewfinder. Okay, here's where we start bringing it back. I'm gonna start by baking the under eyes and the jawline and a bit of the nose with the RCMA No Color Powder. Right, okay, let's try and bring this back. So I'm gonna go with bronzer and really try to warm the whole thing up. So as always, I'm just using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in Blonde Harmony. Brush off that bait. I'm gonna deepen the cheekbones with some NYX HD blush in taupe. And for blush, going in with the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush. 
I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with the blue and just run that in the lash line. And then back into the pencil brush that I was using for blending earlier, uh, in with some of the purple to blend that out. Then on the waterline, it looks a bit like they are wearing some white eyeliner, so I'm just gonna use the Barry M Bold White Waterproof Eyeliner. For highlighter, I'm still desperately trying to warm things up, so I'm gonna go with the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Light. I think we've managed to bring it back a little bit, so I'm gonna go into the Barry M Lip Liner in the shade Go To. I look very weird right now, but P. Louise Academy are known for their very 90s lined glossy lips. So I'm then gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. And I'm gonna finish it off by spraying on some of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Hey guys, editing a raw here. You may or may not have realised that uh, I apparently forgot to do my eyebrows and didn't realise until I got to the editing stage. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that I remembered to do them just in time for the Instagram photos. So if you want to see the finished look, I'll have them linked down below. Anyway, back to the video now. <laughs> it for the finished look guys what do you all think it's a lot <laughs> it's definitely a lot I mean there's a lot of bronzer going on to kind of bring the skin back but I feel like now that we've got the lips on it's a little bit less scary yeah I think everything's just a bit exaggerated on camera because I feel like you can still really see that they're lined but you can't see that in real life and it didn't look anywhere near as pale and on camera it looked a bit scary but yeah i hope you enjoyed going on this adventure with me i did still have a lot of fun created this it took me about two and a half hours it took me a lot longer than i planned but if you did enjoy watching this you know do please like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments i will of course have all of the products used today listed down below as well as my social media so that you can give me a follow that's just a raw blogs and and I'll be seeing you all on the next video. Bye-bye.